As between the South African Department of Science and Technology and the University of Bastal. Now the workshop and the business development programs are designed to make a real impact on participants' entrepreneurial careers, also encouraging and enabling them to drive their projects and business ideas forward towards becoming, of course, successful companies. Well, joining us in studio, we're very pleased to have welcome Ms. Sanisha Mansami, who is the Head of Development for TIA, and Usakile Lamini, who is one of the young African black achievers was pitch made it all the way to being a finalist. Ladies and gentlemen, what a pleasure. Good afternoon. Good Thank afternoon. you. All right, you. Sanisha, let's start with you. Tell us all about this great project. How did it come about and why? Okay, so the program has been going for the past seven years with the University of Basel and the Technology Innovation Agency. Mm -hmm. We're proud to say that we're transforming the program and growing it for young entrepreneurial uh, development and by that I mean as you can see today yeah. we have our own superstar who's 22 years old yeah. and he's been the top innovator in this program. You know Sakile I want to find out from you I mean congratulations first Thank of you. all we're always talking about the lack of information or mm. what uh, uh, you know who actually has access to this type of information mm. when uh, embarking on such projects how mm. did you know about this project? To be honest, um, I'm based in San Francisco. Mm -hmm. I went to education that side, my tertiary education. And once I graduated, I was really looking at bringing the skills that I had garnered internationally awesome. and bringing them back home yeah. and using the technology and the lessons that we learned from a Western market and bringing them to address African challenges. Mm -hmm. So once I graduated, I researched all through the departments of innovations that are taking place in South Africa and in the African continent that I can partner with and actually see my vision and my goals come to fruition. Mm, and how would you identify with those visions particularly? I mean, you, you, you schooled in a different country and you're mm -hmm. coming back to mm -hmm. equip the South African country with the knowledge that mm -hmm. you learned from that side. Mm -hmm. How are you doing that? Um, to be honest, it, it is something that is, that is a challenge. Yeah. I'm looking at holding the right hands and partnering with the right innovators and people that are actually excited about moving forward. Yes. I was based uh, in, in Silicon Valley in San Francisco for four years and that, that, that mindset shift that I had, the one aspect that I realized was my connectivity to the internet. Mm -hmm. Having access to the global digital library really gave me an edge that I could see from my experience growing up in South Africa as a young man yeah. and being able to view the world globally and being able to partner with other African countries that we don't take much cognizance of as someone that is I'm extremely pan-African I really believe that we have we have the expertise to grow forth to the next level you know Sanisha that is so recommendable because we're always hearing about these uh, young professionals that are trained overseas that never come back to bring the skills in the country so is your project uh, encouraging such that you take these learners abroad but you bring them back to reskill the country Yes, and I think it's very important that to grow strong entrepreneurial uh, culture in South Africa, yeah. which we don't have. Um, we, we recently looked at, if you look at in South Africa, not many young kids get an opportunity to go abroad. That's As true. you can see with Sakile, yeah. it's just a wow. So we've been doing a number of these programs at the Technology Innovation Agency, taking young people abroad, giving them the right skills, so they could come back and grow the ecosystem in South Africa mm. for technology and innovation. So Nisha, talk to us further about those, uh, the, the benefits of this program, particularly to our youth who actually form the highest bracket of unemployment in the country. Correct. So, I mean, if you look at it, it's Youth Month. We're very excited. Yeah. It's the first year. We have about six out of the ten candidates that are all under 30 years old. Okay. Um, we have a, num a number of initiatives, like I said, and one of them is the, the BRIC Summit. Uh, South Africa will be identified two young uh, entrepreneurs that will be competing against wow. Brazil, China, India and Russia in September of this year in South Africa as well. Oh my so goodness. So we do a number of these kind of initiatives. Mm, mm, mm. Sakile, I want to know all about your pitch that made uh, that took you <laughs> all the way to the finals. How different was your pitch? And I'm going to ask Sanusha yeah. the same thing on, on why they decided to select you. Mm. Uh, one aspect that I really focused on when people, when we are in the technology te technological space, we like to focus on the technicals and the theory, mm -hmm. but when you're pitching to uh, a team as experienced as Sanisha, mm -hmm. you need to focus on the social aspect and the business acumen. Okay. I really believe that the technology is, so is a tool. it needs to be a workable model 100%, type, 100%. So to say, yeah. Technology is a tool to achieve a goal. Mm -hmm. If you don't articulate properly the goal that you're trying to achieve, it doesn't, doesn't really matter how sophisticated the technology is. So mm -hmm. my pitch was geared towards, as Sanisha said, the high unemployment rates and lack of education in our mm -hmm. country. I'm addressing the widespread lack of internet. Mm -hmm. I really believe that if someone has 
has the ability to send a resume, reach out to somebody and say, hey, Sakile, I love your project, let's get in contact. You can't do that if you don't have the appropriate resources. Yeah. And with social media and all these other platforms, people are accessible. C celebrities, business people, LinkedIn, all these other aspects are accessible through the internet. Okay, so Nishan, just closing, how do then these projects become a reality that, uh, you know, that, that once the, the participants or the beneficiaries have, have gone through them? So uh, TI funds the technology development aspect and then further to, the, to that, we handhold you in terms of supporting your business mm -hmm. for sustainable businesses. I think what's very, very key is taking high end innovation in terms of what Sakila is working with mm -hmm. for inclusive innovation for communities that don't have. Right. If there is a second, maybe you could do a quick one minute pitch. <laughs> do you want to quickly? Let's do it. Yeah, Let's do do it. it. Yeah. Uh, the, project, the project I'm working with with TIA is called YWorld. YWorld is a service that we plan to create. It's a digital application whereby we use blockchain technology and distributed ledger technology to centralize and decentralize the nation, whereby everybody is an individual node. Yeah. You use your mobile hotspot, ultimately making everybody in the country a mobile internet cafe, okay. whereby you're able to share Wi-Fi with me through your hotspot, but receive payments. Yeah. Because we're using blockchain, people are able to, with, through micropayments, receive and interact with each other and verify oh. the transactions oh, wow oh my goodness yeah. so where can people get more information about this project very quickly so Nusha, my okay. director is going to kill me <laughs> not a problem they can go onto our website www tia.org.za. Mm. All right, and you've already selected your 10 for this we year have. and your entries for next year when do they open um they would open around um February of next year. February of yeah. next year. So yeah. they must just keep mm. looking just keep on the website. For, for more information, I'm hosting, with my partners, we're hosting the biggest blockchain conference okay. in Africa. The 14th of July, uh, Santon Convention Center. Please come one, come all. We're really, really trying to fix the future. And with African youth, anything is possible. Well, with those innovative <laughs> words, thank you so much. I'm sure we would be dying to come and join you. Sanusha, thank, thank you, you so much. much for this great initiative. That is Sanusha Munsami, the head of development for TIA. And Sakile Lamini, one of the finalists of the, the Young Black Achievers Project.